Annie's Chair by Deborah Nilland. Annie's Chair. This is Annie and this is her chair. It has been Annie's chair ever since she was tiny. Annie loves her chair. She can curl up and read her books or watch TV. She can play with her toys or hide. She can be a fairy queen or bounce when no one is looking. Sometimes Annie just likes to sit and think. No one is allowed in Annie's chair. Not mom, not dad, and definitely not her big brother Jack. Jack can be a pest. I want to sit in your chair, he teases. No, it's my chair, Annie says for the millionth time. Today, Annie was boiling mad. Someone was sitting in her chair. It was Benny. Get off my chair, roared Annie. Benny opened one, out, one eye. Get off my chair, Benny, Benny yawned. Get off my chair now, Benny stretched. I'm counting. One, two, three. Benny snored. Annie shook her chair. She pushed it and pulled it. She stamped and she yelled. Benny took no notice. Annie tried tickling his paws. Benny did not budge. Annie tried lifting him. Benny held on tight. Annie, Annie tried whispering in his ear. Want a biscuit? Let's chase Callisto and his favorite word, walkies. All Benny said was, hmm. He rolled over and closed his eyes. There's only one thing left for Annie to do. What? That was because Annie was sad. Benny cried too. He jumped off the chair and gave Annie a big lick, lick to cheer her up. Annie gave Benny a big hug to cheer him up. It's my chair, Benny, Annie told him. Never sit on my chair again without me.